Hey guys, Steve Eames here, and welcome to another tutorial. In this video, we are going to be creating uh, the continue button, and we are going to be saving which night are we on. Uh, this is something I didn't know how to do for a long, long time, but now I know, and it's pretty, pretty, it's pretty easy. So uh, let's get into it. Now, uh, continue doesn't do anything. The only button that works is new game. Hello. Um which takes us to the game, as you can see. Now, uh, if you go to our UI and main menu, uh, we will see that uh, what what does the new 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 game do? If we click, we can see it just uh, hides the mouse cursor, sets input game input mode to game only, and opens the level, which is the the level, yeah, uh, the night one. Uh, so uh, what we have to do here is create a save game object. Now we go back here, going to content, and uh, somewhere I I don't think it matters. We're gonna create a new blueprint class. Now right here we have to we want to search save game. This is the blueprint that uh, basically uh, defines what are we saving, what type of data. We're gonna call it something like night safe game, something like this. Now, if you open this, we can see it's there's nothing here. So what we want to do is create a new variable. This is going to be called night. We're gonna compile safe, and we're gonna change this variable type from boolean to integer. Now, what this does? is uh, this this will save which night are we on so as default we're gonna set this to one because we are on night one by default and we're gonna compile and save and uh, this is everything we have to we want to do in this in this blueprint so we're gonna close that now in our main menu ui what we want to do is uh, go go right here where it says new game we're going to drag this uh, back but oh whoops sorry this all we're gonna put back unconnect this and we're gonna create save game object now we're going to choose the save game object we just created which is night save game uh, right here we're going to s set night No, 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 sorry, sorry. Get night. And we're going to switch on integer. I'm going to connect this. Put this some more back. And we're going to plus, plus, and plus. Uh, the start index, we want that to be 1. So right here, left bottom corner, start index, we want it to be 1. And now we have five numbers for five nights. Now, uh, what we want to do is uh, uncollect this and put these uh, show mouse cursor set it with mode only. We want to put this at the start actually. That might be better. We're gonna put this right here. Connect. And uh, now we want to um, yeah, like this. So now uh, we want to drag this right here and copy this for each of our levels. Now we only created uh, one, one, two nights, I think. So yeah, uh, for each night, uh, paste the name of the level, which is the night. So uh, for the first night, we have the third person example map. Uh, if yours is named differently, it's gonna be named differently. So just copy and paste the name here. The second night is gonna be night two, right here. And uh, 
you can do you will do the same for each and every night so uh, you could just gonna copy this put night three uh, plug it and so on okay uh, this has to be the same name as the third night fourth night fifth night you know what I'm saying so uh, now that we have this we want to compile and save and we're gonna, gonna we want to go before the create save game object so now we want to load save uh, load game from slot so now uh, um, yes uh, we're gonna create the slot name is going to be something like knights I'm gonna name it knights copy it and uh, we're gonna drag out is valid if it is valid if it, no if it's not valid we're gonna create but if it is valid we're just gonna use this so uh, get knight uh, no cast to night save game get night Oh, wait a second. Sorry about that. Uh, we can go back. Uh, we're going to copy, switch on night, switch on integer, do this, and just do the same thing here as you did below. Again, if you have more levels, more nights, put them here. But uh, I'm just going to leave it uh, like this. Now, what we want to do is actually um, right here, we want to save game to slot right before the switch on an integer. We want to save the game to slot and the slot name is going to be the same as this right here. We're going to paste this, save it, and let me see, I think it's all we need. Okay. Yeah, so uh, this is, I think this is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I made a small mistake. This is not supposed to be on the new game button, but uh, I don't think it matters. So, uh, we're just gonna put this here, down. Uh, we're gonna click on continue. We're going to enable it right here. It's enabled, we're gonna check that. And we're gonna go down and click on clicked. So we're gonna drag this right here. And uh, I'm going to just copy and paste this and make some small changes. Um, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Let's copy and make some small changes. I might move this a little bit like this and now we want to leave the continue button as it is and we're gonna change something at the new game button because I made a mistake I I accidentally made it at the new game button but we want to do something slightly different so at the new game button remember new game we want to delete this, delete this, and delete this, and we are going to, instead of get night, we're going to set night, and we're going to set it to 1.
set night one set night two one mm -hmm. and uh, right here we also want to save game to slot save game to slot again we want to copy this this is here and I think this is all uh, everything we need yes I think so okay so we now press play this should take us to the first Hello. level. Uh. Yes, it actually took us to the first level. Now, uh, let me just explain this so you understand what is going on. So, when we press the new game, it's going to hide the cursor, set input mode game only because we did that in the last tutorial, and now it's going to load the game form slot. Uh, if you go actually to the files and look here, we now have a folder called save game. It's under our project right here saved save games and you can see we have nights now uh, this stores the night that we are on so uh, every time uh, a create save game object is called a new file here will appear so uh, it, this will check if uh, there is already this file right here if this file is al already there and if it's not, it will create that file and uh, it will set the night to 1 because we are creating a new game and we want to start from the night 1 this is going to save the game to slot the nights uh, no, it's going to save the game, uh, save the nights to 1 and then it's going to save it every time we change the value you have to save the game to slot and then we will open the first level uh, if it already exists, if the f if the file already exists, we will get the existing file and set uh, set the nights in the already existing file, not in a new one. Uh, then we will go to save in the slot again. We have to save this, and we will open the first night. Now I'm sorry if this sounds. Uh, I'm sorry if this uh, is kind of confusing I'm trying to explain it but if you don't really get it I don't think it really matters right now uh, just go to the code this creates file this saves the value to a file and this um, yeah it's it's pretty easy but uh, it's pretty simple I don't think it's hard to understand but uh, yeah so uh, in the continue button we will load the game from slot because we uh, again we're gonna check if the file exists if it exists we're gonna get night and um, yeah we're going to switch if the night is, is one we're going to do the first night if the night is two we're going to do the second one okay sorry I'm talking too much so now uh, we wanna. I'm gonna go to night two to just to make some changes, just so it's uh, okay. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, I'm gonna go back to main menu. Now, if we press new game. Hello. Um, I see you are new for the job in Fazware Entertainment. So. Uh, you can see that uh, I'm on the first night. Everything works. And it properly loads Hello. us into the first night because we didn't save it yet. So uh, if we go to the night 2, we have to open night 2, go to blueprints, open level blueprint and we're going to find begin play it's right here so uh, after begin play we want to um, 
We want to copy this. No, no. We want to copy this. And I'm just going to go right here and uh, plug this. Uh, we're going to use a sequence. That one, we're going to go to load game from slot. And yeah, this should work. But uh, we want to change the knight to 2 because we are on knight 2. This, uh, on the level start, will get to the file if it exists. Uh, and it will uh, set the knight to 2 because we are at knight 2. So now if we actually go to knight 2, no, um, let's go to main menu, okay? I'm gonna show you. So now if we press play, we we go and continue. Hello! Um. It's the first night, but uh, let's see what happens if we beat the first night and then press continue. Hello! Um. Now you can see we are in the second night and we're gonna go to main menu. Now if we press play and continue, it will now put us in the second night. Um, if you don't believe me, we can uh, add a text to indicate it. Now if we text... Uh, we're gonna call this night one. I don't know why it's so laggy. Sorry for that. 70 minutes, okay. So, um. Hope it didn't. Okay, good. It didn't crash. I'm gonna put night one right here. And I'm gonna go to night two and do the same thing. Uh, sorry for that. Um, what? Never mind. Uh, we're gonna go to night two, and I'm gonna do the same thing. But I'm gonna call it night two. So now, if we go to main menu, you can see. If we continue, we are at night two. If we new game Hello. and then continue, Hello. we are uh. now at uh, night one. So yeah, this is uh, how to load nights in a Five Nights at Freddy's game. I am sorry for not recording much. I am. It's it's pretty hard. It takes long time. I have a lot of projects ready. I want to do some game jams. Uh, but yeah, I have one more video ready. So yeah, get excited for that. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed.